Hi guys, welcome to Debrief. Uh, I just want to give you a quick update uh, on a couple of new entrants to the tank and, um, uh, and just show you around. Uh, so I, I got a couple of clams. Uh, these are Maxima clams. So this is uh, one, um, the prettier one. Uh, it's got a nice pattern on it. Um, they're there and the other one is right here. Um, darker shade of brown uh, I'm not sure it, it hasn't opened up very well today so um, again uh, so the, the uh, I, I think that's an issue with uh, you know with it not opening up um, so yesterday night I um, when I was uh, just looking at uh, um, this clam uh, after lights out I kind of uh, found uh, a couple of pyramid snails on the uh, shell so um, so in case you don't know so um, on clams the number one pests are these pyramid snails and they are very very small and uh, they kind of uh, tend to uh, stick around the the, uh, the mantle and um, and try and get in and once they get in they kind of uh, end up killing the clam um, so um, I was uh, I was very worried when I saw them. I took them out. Um, actually, I just took this one out um, because I, I saw the snails only on this one. So I took it out and then um, with a toothbrush, uh, kind of uh, tried to get the uh, snails. So I, I did get whatever I could, uh, you know, manage to find. Um, uh, and I, I think I'll have to keep repeating this uh, process again uh, every night because uh, these snails are uh, nocturnal so um, you know I, I can only see them uh, in the night they'll come out only in the night um, so yeah I, I'll repeat that process again today hopefully you know I should be able to get all of them um, otherwise my uh, clam is history and um, and they also lay eggs, so it's important to get the eggs as well. Now, uh, uh, um, from whatever I've seen on the forums, the eggs look like brown jelly. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I, I couldn't really make out any when I saw them. I saw it last night when I took it out last night. Uh, but I'll check again. Um, but yeah, so this is this is a concern. Right? Uh, but these are beautiful, uh, this is a beautiful clam, the other one too, but uh, it's not really opening up uh, fully. Alright, the, uh, the other update is this uh, new um, uh, coral strawberry shortcake. It's a beautiful green and pink uh, uh, coral. Okay, my ras has come in between. So, yeah, and then there is um, there's another uh, beautiful piece of coal. So this one is violet almost. I, I don't know if you guys can see. So it's a, it's a dark violet. Uh, I've got nice polyp extension on all of my acros. So, but this one is uh, looks special. All right, otherwise uh, all of my other uh, clams, I mean, all of my other corals are doing pretty good. Uh, as far as fishes are concerned, in my first video, you must have seen, uh, you know, earlier this week, I had a cover band uh, and a pretty big uh, fox face. So, um, in a couple of days back, I've uh, rehomed both of them. So, um, I just wanted to reduce the, the bio load. Um, on the uh, on the tank uh, especially because of my uh, because i was having nitrate issues and plus i don't think uh, you know those fishes are meant for a tank this size uh, the fox waves uh, fox waves grew uh, way too big uh, so i'm just left with this guy the the purple tank uh, uh, he's kind of nervous after i caught the other two so um, yeah, so there's this the the purple tang uh, who's the big fellow here, in this ta uh, in this tank. Um, so um, yeah, uh, I'm in no hurry to get new fishes. I will, but at some point, uh, I just want to make sure that 
uh, you know wherever i get them from is uh, uh, has been quarantined uh, in the lfs for a while uh, because i don't have a qt and uh, uh, and i'm thinking i, I i'll probably get uh, a ras and a blenny but uh, again uh, i haven't really made up my mind uh, a yellow core is ras maybe um, so yeah so that's uh, so those are the updates um, um thank you for watching and uh, have a good day bye